Hi, I'm Lisa Nichols, and I am so excited to be with you. You know, your life changes when you change. Your life changes when your mindset change. Your reality is waiting on your mind to tell it what to do and who to be. See, the first place that your life begins to transform is in your head. When you begin to think differently, your life has to show up differently. I look at my life today and my life is a result of me seeing something I'd never seen before, doing something I'd never done before, saying something I've never said before so that I can be the woman I've always known myself to be. I still can grow. There's lots of room for growth. But man, I never thought I would be here until I thought about being right here. See, your mind is powerful. It's creating your tomorrow. It's creating your next year. You are an amazing being, but you have to know that. So often we look at other people in our lives to show us our value, to show us our worth, to show us our beauty. When in fact, when you know who you are, when you know how powerful you are, how special, how brilliant you are, how beautiful you are, then you illuminate that to the rest of the world. And the rest of the world just agrees with you. So here's the difficult news. The world is treating you the way you treat yourself. So if you want to be loved more, acknowledged more, adorned more, you know, treated more special, then you have to do that to yourself. Gosh, that was the biggest lesson for me to learn. That Lisa was the first example of how the world gets to treat her. I was the first example. So you are the first example. So love yourself. Celebrate yourself. Recognize that there are bril there's brilliance within you. When you begin, or you're willing to address any limiting belief, then you are on your way to something you've never seen before. Most people think having a life of prosperity and possibility is just about thinking positive. Well, listen, I'm your sis. I'm your sis, and it's my job to tell you the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me love one. And that is, it's not just about positive thinking, it's also about being willing to recognize the areas where you've lived inside limiting beliefs. You know that conversation, I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough. I know I lived in that. I'm not smart enough, I lived in that. They won't choose me. I'll let them down, I'm scared to fail, or I'm scared to succeed. All of that chatter that drives you, it's when you recognize it. And when you look at that chatter and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, conversation called, I'm not good enough. Wait a minute, conversation called, I'm not pretty enough. I've outgrown you. You no longer are welcome in my mind. That that's my 2002 conversation, and now, I'm creating my 2020 version of myself. And you, this mindset, you don't fit in my future. I know that sounds maybe a little weird, but I'm willing to be a little weird these days for the sake of my possibility, and I hope you are too. We have people in our lives like Mother Teresa, Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King. I'm sure someone at some point said they were a little weird. So if you're considered weird by having this new thought, being willing to evict your old mindset, willing to evict your limited thinking, and people call you weird, then we're in good company. You know, I say that until I can think of something I never thought of, say something I've never said, do something I've never done, then I can't be the woman I've always known myself to be. See, the woman that you can be, the man that you're becoming, is right there on the other side of your comfort zone. You know, right there on the other side of what you've never done before, what you've never said before. So are you willing to be radical? Are you willing to be unapologetic? Are you willing to confront that thought process, those words, those belief systems that you've outgrown? Are you willing to introduce yourself to a new version of yourself? A new possibility within you? a new mindset, a new way of being, loving, playing, working. I don't care who you used to be. I don't care what you used to do. Oh, I have a habit of being a procrastinator. Okay. Oh, I have a habit of being defensive. Okay. I'm scared. I've always been afraid of speaking. 
Okay, uh, I don't manage money well. Okay, that's who you used to be. Now, who are you willing to become? See, the woman sitting in front of you, I hadn't met her in 1995. I didn't know her in 2000. Don't get me wrong, I'm far from perfect. But the woman that I used to be and the woman that I am today, wow. And the only distance between the two was my commitment to become the best version of myself. And so I'd like to encourage you to come forth and bring forth the next best version of yourself because we need your brilliance. The world is waiting on your champion. When you allow your greatness to come out without any hesitation, without any apologies, without shrinking, you know how we tend to shrink so that those around us won't feel uncomfortable with our brilliance and our fabulosity. See, when you, when we allow our brilliance to come out without shrinking, without reducing ourselves, when we allow our champion to come out, see, the world becomes a better place to live in because you play full out. <laughs> see, you keep thinking that your champion is about you. Your brilliance is about you. It's not about you. It's about us. It's about the fact that you'll make our lives better because you were here and you shared your brilliance with us. So what are you waiting on? See, I came in front of your face, in front of your space right now to make you mildly to moderately to significantly uncomfortable in any form of mediocrity. I stepped in your space right now, in your heart space, to shake you, to hold you, to poke and prod you so that your champion will wake up a little more, your genius will get jolted, your brilliance will come alive, and you will give yourself permission to share who you are with the world in your wholeness. Because I'm a little girl from South Central Los Angeles. Who would have thought this would be my life? Oh yeah, I thought about it. So what are you thinking of? What's in your mind that's waiting to be born? I can't wait to meet it. And remember in your journey, I'm your sister in possibility and in prosperity. And I love you. Always have, always will.